The other useful property that we're going to look at in this video is zoomable and that will be useful when you have lots of data and a user wants to zoom in on a certain subset of that data. To enable that you just add a zoom type property and that would be either x or xy or y and that would be the difference how it zooms. So if you have X, it would zoom only across X. If you have Y, it would zoom only across Y. And if you have X, Y, it would zoom across both of the axes. It looks something like this. So you make a selection and it zooms in on the data. We don't have a lot of data in here. I've thrown in here a bit more data than it was in the first video, but it's not that much. But still you can see how it zooms in and you have here a set zoom. So you can zoom in, you can reset, and you can change this to Y or XY, whichever way you like it. And this is how zoom type works.